Alright, welcome back to another CTR Nitro Fueled video and today we have a legendary showcase video for you guys. It's been a while since I uploaded a part of the series and that is because of the release of the um, Rustland Grand Prix. I had to cover all the new stuff um, that came with that Grand Prix and now that it's finally done, I finally covered everything that's new. Uh, we can go back to the series we did before and the Legendary Showcase series was one of those. So we are going to be showcasing some Legendary skins of a, a character and that character is going to be Fake Crash. Some of you guys recommended me to do um, the Fake Crash Legendary uh, Showcase episode. Uh, more specifically Epic Gaming Boy said um, when you do Fake Crash Legendary, please mention me, thanks. Well, here it is. He suggested me to do this episode and uh, there is his uh, comment. Shout out to you, Epic Gaming Boy. You've been uh, really active on my channel and I can't thank you enough for it. And the second comment comes from Saud Dehan04. And he says, the champion card is a beautiful card, we all have to admit. It is also extremely easy to get it. All you have to do is finish the gold tier of the Nitro Gauge, and that's a guaranteed champion card and its decal. I'm surprised you don't have all the decals, but I know you must be busy, so it's understandable. You do not have to worry about people who use champion's card. Uh, I know that you might think uh, that they must be a good player, but there is a chance that they are not like in this race. And I know I don't have all the decals, and that is because I don't really go for um, for the top 5% a lot of the time. Um, I don't use a decal whenever I use the champion card, so it, it doesn't motivate me to go for the decal. Um, the decals are pretty nice of course, but it doesn't really get me to play the game more than I am uh, doing right now. And of course I am pretty busy, uh, I have my exams coming up and stuff, I already did 3 exams, 4 more to go. So uh, yeah, I don't really have that much time to play. I just play when I uh, when I need to record and I want to get back into this game man. Whenever my exams are finished I'm gonna grind this game out, go for all the all the unlockables and just get better at this game. Anyway we're gonna jump to an online lobby here and we are going to select Fake Crash. There he is. If you guys have seen my spending all my coins um, episode. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it, it's on my channel, you can check it out. I bought the final legendary skin for um, for Fake Crash and um, he actually has four. I'm surprised, I thought he had um, three. But the first one is Cowboy Fake Crash, then we have a Dashing Fake Crash, we have Monster Fake Crash and we have Rustic Fake Crash. So the first one we are going to play as Cowboy Fake Crash. I want kind of like a cowboy, cowboy themed cart. Maybe this one? This one is actually not that bad. And then we're gonna go for a paint job, maybe some bluish paint job, that's not that bad. And then some wheels, some cowboy wheels, maybe these crates, that's actually not that bad either. So I'm gonna be playing as different driving styles, I'll start with the acceleration one. I'm not gonna do the turning one I think, so uh, yeah, it has difficulties putting us into a lobby, maybe there's not as many people playing right now but what do you guys think about Fate Crash? Is he a cool character? Let me know down below. Does he have some uh, some good legendary skins? I want to know all that and you can let me know down below in the comment section. But without further ado the first race is gonna be as Cowboy Fate Crash. So let's do this. Oh no, I haven't really been playing recently and now we have a track where we need the the U-turning. This is gonna be difficult though. We only have two other uh, players in this lobby though. Let's see if they're actually good. They might be, uh, they might be pretty good. I'm not too sure, but it's my first race in like two weeks, something like that. So give me, uh, cut me some slack if I'm not really performing that well. Oh, come on! No! She still has the blue flames, are you kidding me? Okay, come on, Nina Cortex. That that skin is really cool, though. I'm not too sure where Fake Crash is from. 
um, or his creation. I think he's the third creation of, uh, of Cortex, if I uh, remember correctly. And I'm not really focusing on keeping it in the perfect side, though. I should be focusing on that. Yeah, it's gonna be a second place finish, because that, uh... Oh, come on, I, I suck at this! If you guys have any, uh, any tips on how to do this track... Like, it, it looks like I always lose the blue flames there. Am I doing something wrong? I'm not too sure what I'm doing wrong. But it looks like that Nina Cortex knows how to drive this, uh, or race this track a little bit better than I do. Usually I'm alright at this track, usually there's not too many people who know how to U-turn that, but she actually does. Look, I will lose the blue flames again. Oh! Oh! Already becoming just a little bit better, I mean, I'm not gonna win, but... Already becoming just a little bit better at this. It's gonna be a second place finish, as long as we can win once in this episode, I'm, uh, I'm okay with it. Um, Fate Crash though, not really my favorite character, but he is, he is pretty good. His laugh is, uh, is terrifying though. Alright, of course, for every single legendary skin I want to end up on the podium, we have the uh, Wild West legendary skin from Fate Crash. Pretty cool uh, victory celebration here. Is <laughs> He's doing the, the Mexican standoff or something, is that what it's called? I don't want to race uh, Retro Stadium again though. But anyway, the second legendary skin for Fake Crash is the Dashing Fake Crash. I think it's the um, silver tier skin in the um, Prehistoric Playground uh, Grand Prix. Not the worst skin though, I really enjoy the skin, I really enjoy it. More than um, than the cowboy fake crash skin though, but anyway, the driving style is gonna be speed. And I'm gonna have to jump into a different lobby here because for some reason the game still has issues with uh, with matchmaking, and it's getting a little bit on my nerves. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a rant video soon about all the problems the online mode has because it is unacceptable so far, man. But that's gonna be for another video. Koala Carnival, haven't really raced this one in a while. You don't see the other um, Grand Prix tracks too much anymore. Like once a new Grand Prix comes out, it's the only uh, it's the only track that you see. It's kind of annoying sometimes though. Can I hit him though? Yes, I can. Don't be hitting me now, please. Oh no! Oh, I am an absolute idiot. I am an idiot. Come on, hit him. Yes, thank the lord that I hit him. I am an absolute idiot though. How, why did I not take the blue flame? This could, this could have been like an easy victory for me, but no, of course not. Come on, keep going. Could still be a victory if the guy in front of us uh, misses the, uh, the jumps though. So far, I don't think he's gonna do that. He didn't even take the blue flames, that means he uh, he still has the blue flames though. He has a really, really great lead. Can I hit uh, Pura here? I don't think I can. Lose the blue flames now. Please, no! Are you kidding? I saw that bomb from a mile away, bro! And now that as well. Oh, that is just really, really unlucky. Now I want to hit Pura or Pura. Oh, oh, that's a weird one. Weird ass jump, bro. Oh, come on! Why did I land on his head? Please. I just want a podium finish. That would be nice. I want to check out the victory celebration. I know I'm not gonna get first anymore because the guy finished, but maybe if the rocket hits. This could be a second place finish! It is gonna be a second place finish, okay. Not bad though. Second place finish, if I didn't make that stupid mistake at the start of the race, I could have been first. Actually, I know I would have been first, but... Yeah, I'm just an absolute idiot. You can see that I haven't really played this game in, uh, in quite some time. 
All right, at least we can uh, we can check out the victory celebration though. Not sure what that dance move is. Why would you have a nerd dance though? It's a weird victory celebration. Not too sure if I like this one. I like the other one, uh, the other one more. Uh, Mega Mix Mania though, we have a chance of winning here. Um, the third skin is gonna be Monster Fate Crash. Really cool uh, skin in my opinion. And then we have to match up uh, the cart though. But I want to check out one of the newer carts of this Grand Prix. I haven't really checked out this uh, this cart though. So let's uh, let's check this one out. Let's maybe put some green on there or something. Maybe this one. And then we'll put it on the drift driving style. And that is how we are going to race the next uh, track. Mega Mix Mania. Let's do this. Now this track has really grown on me, I didn't really like it at the start, it was kind of all over the place, but once you get used to all the shortcuts and stuff, it's actually a really, really satisfying uh, track to race on, and uh, it's one of my favorites so far. Uh, of course you have Gingerbread Joyride, which is an absolute favorite of mine, but uh, this track is really, really good. And I can race on it quite well too. Oh no, there's a guy behind us trying to hit me with bombs though. Oh yeah. Who is that? It Was it Coco? Keep going. Oh no, it's that. It's Mega Mix. Oh no, it's the guy who won uh, last round. I mean, if we can keep the blue flames for, uh, for full lap, three consecutive laps as well, of course we win the race. But can I do that though? I have been practicing a little bit. Oh no. No! Come on, that's just a f Oh man, I'm getting really, really annoyed. Oh, that might be good though. I need to slow down, need to slow down. Mega Mix needs to get hit there. That's okay. So he lost the blue flames too now. And he fell off the track as well. He's not going for the... Um, for the shortcut because I think you can't really make it without uh, without blue flames now this is gonna be a really really intense race though if I don't mess up too hard I might be able to do this but I need to pass Mega Mix first though he's a really good racer come on Oh no, what is what is all of this, man? He missed he missed the jump! He missed the jump! I think that's it! I think that's gonna be it, Mega Mix! Yeah, that is gonna be it! If I don't mess up this shortcut. Yeah, there it is. I I messed up the jump too, man. I feel I feel ya. I feel ya. <laughs> That is a really, really annoying jump sometimes. Sometimes the character doesn't even jump. He isn't too far behind me though without uh, without blue flames. So yeah, finally got the uh, the first place finish with Monster Crash of all the uh, the legendary skins. It was a pretty good race though. Just a very, very unlucky second lap. And this is the victory celebration that I really like. This is, I think, the best Fate Crash victory celebration, at least. That's my opinion, though. Um, it's a skin that I unlocked last. This was a skin I actually needed still to uh, to unlock all the legendary skins for uh, for Fate Crash, though. Engine Labs, that is a really, really good track. And we're gonna do it with the final one, the Rustic Fate Crash, as well. And the bodies, I'm just gonna put, like, a mechanic kind of, uh, kind of card here. Not the worst, though. Um, some orange-ish paint job would be nice, and then some uh, some oranges, and then some uh, some orangish wheels as well. It's not the worst setup uh, you can have with this uh, with this skin though. Engine Labs it is gonna be. I am still on the drift uh, driving style, but it doesn't really matter. Let's have some fun in the next race. The 
Alright, let's show you guys what I can do on uh, on Engine Labs though. I know that Mega Mix is gonna be really good at this track as well because he knows how to keep uh, how to keep the blue flame most of the time though. But so far uh, I end up in first at the start of the race. Just gonna throw that behind. Gonna take the Wampa box and keep going. If I don't lose the blue flame, this is a victory, but I'm bumping all the walls here. Oh, he tried to hit me. I knew it was gonna be that Mega Mix, though. I knew it was gonna be him. Oh, he picked up the box. Okay, not bad. Yep, I'm gonna do that too, bro. Yeah, I'm not sure if it is gonna be a victory though. If he loses the blue flames, that would be it though, but I don't think he will. Because I've got a rocket, so I can definitely take him if he loses it, but therefore he needs to lose it, of course. Come on, man. Oh no! Oh, I thought that was gonna be a warp orb though. That would have been good. The rocket is not going to be fast enough, I think, so... I'm going to have to wait. Not the worst. Wait, did I lose it right before I uh, jumped on top of that thing? On the, on the boost pad? Please say you lost... No, I lost it, actually. Oh, you... Oh, come on. I'm gonna have to shoot my, uh, my rocket on the straight line, I think. That's not gonna be good. I'm not focusing on uh, keeping it in, in the perfect as well. I should, but I'm kind of panicking. Oh my god. Oh my god. He messed up again in the final, uh, on the final lap. What are you doing, bro? He fell off the track. Yep, and that's gonna be it though. He's almost in third place. That's gonna be another first place victory. Pretty good race. That uh, Francie Rooster was kind of unlucky here. Not sure what happened, but he got passed by uh, Oski. I, I think Oski still had the blue flames and uh, Francie didn't, so... He's a good racer though. He just makes a lot of mistakes. And there we have it, the final victory celebration. Now, Fate Crash is just a, a weirdo. It, he's just he's just weird. He is. <laughs> All his victory celebrations are really weird, except for that uh, monster Fate Crash uh, victory celebration. So, we'll go over the legendary skins, all the skins that I like, and I'm gonna give you guys my top four um, skins here. So, at the bottom we have, let's see, at the bottom of the skins list we have a uh, Rustic Fate Crash. Not really the coolest skin in my opinion, he just wears a cap and then uh, a worker outfit or something. Um, not really, not really the biggest fan. The Victory Celebration is just weird. Um, and then in the third spot we have a uh, Dashing Fate Crash. Pretty cool skin. But just a weird victory celebration and that weighs it down a little bit. Um, so in the second place we have a Cowboy Fate Crash. Really cool skin with a really cool victory celebration. And then as the best legendary skin for Fate Crash we have Monster Fate Crash. It just looks terrifying and has an awesome victory celebration as well. Those are the two um, points that I like to take in when reviewing these legendary skins. Does it look cool and does it have a good victory celebration and fake crash monster fake crash has both of those so that's why it ended in the uh, in the first place spot let me guys know how you would rank these skins which skin do you like most let me know down below in the comment section we are also very close to 700 subscribers at the moment of recording I might have surpassed it already so thank you guys so much for all the support lately uh, the channel has been growing um, like really really fast and I can't thank you guys enough we are so close to 1000 subscribers that is my next subscriber goal and if we keep going like this in two months I would have um, 
1,000 subscribers according to Social Blade. So hopefully, uh, hopefully the channel reaches that soon, and hopefully you guys can uh, can carry the channel to that point. Again, I'm really thankful to you guys. Thankful for all the support, all the comments you guys are leaving, all the uh, all the likes, and uh, there's just no better audience in the world. Anyway, I'm gonna end the episode right here though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like if you wanna see more. Then subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.